Factory Fox Body Mustang alternators are a ticking time bomb. This alternator's terminals get loose, corroded, and overheat. They can even start on fire, turning your precious Fox Body into a roadside barbecue. Check this out. Even though this alternator is new, with the headlights and the blower motor on high, the alternator can't keep up and the battery begins to drain. We're going to permanently fix this common Fox body problem with an SVE 3G alternator upgrade kit from Late Model Restoration. It includes all the little parts you'll need into one convenient package, including a hefty 4 gauge output wire that bypasses the sketchy factory wiring, which is really the best way to do this. The 3G alternator features this heavy duty charging lug that's way more robust than the factory spade connectors, as well as an integrated voltage regulator. The conversion process is pretty straightforward and you should be able to complete it in an afternoon. We began by disconnecting the negative battery terminal. Using a breaker bar, we released the tension on the serpentine belt and unhooked the belt from the alternator pulley. Then we unplugged the wiring harness from the factory alternator. We removed the top alternator bolt. After removing the bottom alternator bolt, we pulled the factory alternator from the alternator bracket. Yup, look at these corroded terminals and melted connector. It's no wonder our charging system was marginal. We're going to permanently solve this problem. After peeling back the electrical tape, we exposed this alternator wiring. We're going to tap into the green and yellow factory wires, but this white wire and the connectors can be cut off. Also, look at the factory output wires. It goes down from two small wires to one at this splice. What? I have no idea why they did this, so we're going to cut all this off. Good riddance. Oh yeah, I've been waiting to do this for a long time. Now rather than use these two wires and the splice, we're just going to cut all this stuff off and cut it off right down here. As you can see, these wires were insufficient even from the factory. So we're just going to replace them with this big fat 4 gauge wire that Late Model Restoration includes with the kit. This is going to be way better and way safer in the long run. Now Late Model Restoration sells a kit that includes a new alternator bracket that's clearance for the alternator, but doing it yourself is not a big deal. We're just going to mock it up here and we'll show you how to do it. Now as you can see the alternator holes don't line up in the top and that's because it's interfering right here by this bolt boss, but we'll just show you where to mark it and remove the material. We used a marker to show where we need to remove the material to clear the alternator. Now there's a lot of different ways to do this, but we used a drill to mark the corner of our notch and then finished with a die grinder. After cleaning up our work, we were able to move the alternator into position so that the bolt holes line up on top and we have plenty of clearance around the bolt boss. We installed the alternator using the factory bolt at the bottom and the included bolt from Late Model Restoration on the top. Now for the wiring. Here are the included regulator and stator pigtails. We're going to install them first so we can trim everything to the right length. Then we stripped about a quarter of an inch off the end of each wire and used the included butt connectors to make the stator and regulator wiring connections. All the wiring colors match up so it's not complicated. We used a heat gun to shrink the butt connectors for a weather tight seal. A little split loom tidied up the wiring nicely. As we mentioned before, we're bypassing the sketchy factory charging wiring with the included 4 gauge cable. We ran the cable from the alternator under the air filter, along the top of the radiator support, behind the driver's side inner fender, and through the hole for the windshield washer reservoir to the starter solenoid. With everything buttoned up, we reinstalled the serpentine belt and we're ready to try it out. Even with the blower motor on high, the high beams on, four-way flashers, headlights, 
everything on, you can see that the 3G alternator is still charging the battery at idle. This is exactly what we needed and makes our Mustang much safer and more reliable.